Mood Stabilizer, Wikipedia Article Audio A mood stabilizer is a psychiatric pharmaceutical drug used to treat mood disorders characterized by intense and sustained mood shifts, typically bipolar disorder type I or type II, the borderline personality disorder and schizophrenia. Uses Examples Mineral Anticonvulsants Antipsychotics Other Combination therapy Relationship to antidepressants Mechanism Categories Used to treat bipolar disorder Mood stabilizers suppress swings between mania and depression. Mood stabilizing drugs are also used in borderline personality disorder and schizoaffective disorder. The term mood stabilizer does not describe a mechanism, but rather an effect. More precise terminology is used to classify these agents. Drugs commonly classed as mood stabilizers include Many agents described as mood stabilizers are also categorized as anticonvulsants. The term anticonvulsant mood stabilizers is sometimes used to describe these as a class. Although this group is also defined by effect rather than mechanism, there is at least a preliminary understanding of the mechanism of most of the anticonvulsants used in the treatment of mood disorders. There is insufficient evidence to support the use of various other anticonvulsants, such as gabapentin and topiramate, as mood stabilizers. In routine practice, monotherapy is often not sufficiently effective for acute and slash or maintenance therapy and thus most patients are given combination therapies. Combination therapy shows better efficacy over monotherapy in the manic phase in terms of efficacy and prevention of relapse. However, side effects are more frequent and discontinuation rates due to adverse events are higher with combination therapy than with monotherapy. Most mood stabilizers are primarily anti-manic agents, meaning that they are effective at treating mania and mood cycling and shifting but are not effective at treating acute depression. The principal exceptions to that rule, because they treat both manic and depressive symptoms, are lamotrigine, lithium carbonate and quishapine. Nevertheless, antidepressants are still often prescribed in addition to mood stabilizers during depressive phases. This brings some risks, however as antidepressants can induce mania, psychosis, and other disturbing problems in people with bipolar disorder in particular, when taken alone. The risk of antidepressant-induced mania when given to patients concomitantly on antimanic agents is not known for certain but may still exist. The majority of antidepressants appear ineffective in treating bipolar depression. Antidepressants cause several risks when given to bipolar patients. They are ineffective in treating acute bipolar depression, preventing relapse, and can cause rapid cycling. Studies have been shown that antidepressants have no benefit versus a placebo or other treatment. Antidepressants can also lead to a higher rate of non-lethal suicidal behavior. Relapse can also be related to treatment with antidepressants. This is less likely to occur if a mood stabilizer is combined with an antidepressant, rather than an antidepressant being used alone. Evidence from previous studies shows that rapid cycling is linked to use of antidepressants. Rapid cycling is defined as the presence of four or more mood episodes within a year's time. Evidence suggests that rapid cycling and mixed symptoms have become more common since antidepressant medication has come into widespread use. There is a need for caution when treating bipolar patients with antidepressant medication due to the risks that they pose. 
use of mood stabilizers and anticonvulsants such as lamotrigine, carbamazepine, valproate, and others may lead to chronic folate deficiency, potentiating depression. Also, folate deficiency may increase the risk of depression and reduce the action of antidepressants. L-methylfolate, a centrally acting trimonoamine modulator, boosts the synthesis of three CNS neurotransmitters, dopamine, norepinephrine, and serotonin. Mood stabilizers and anticonvulsants may interfere with folic acid absorption and L-methylfolate formation. Augmentation with the medical food L-methylfolate may improve antidepressant effects of these medicines, including lithium and antidepressants themselves, by boosting the synthesis of antidepressant neurotransmitters. However, the U.S. National Institutes of Health issued a warning caution about the use of L-methylfolate for patients with bipolar disease. The precise mechanism of action of lithium is still unknown, and it is suspected that it acts at various points of the neuron between the nucleus and the synapse. Lithium is known to inhibit the enzyme GSK3B. This has the effect relieving pressure on the circadian clock, which is thought to be often malfunctioning in people with bipolar disorder and positively modulates gene transcription of brain-derived neurotrophic factor. The resulting increase in neural plasticity may be central to lithium's therapeutic effects. Lithium may also increase the synthesis of serotonin. All of the anticonvulsants routinely used to treat bipolar disorder are blockers of voltage-gated sodium channels, affecting the brain's glutamate system. For valproic acid, carbamazepine, and oxcarbazepin, however, their mood stabilizing effects may be more related to effects on the GABergic system. Lamotrigine is known to decrease the patient's cortisol response to stress. One possible downstream target of several mood stabilizers such as lithium, valproate, and carbamazepine is the arachidonic acid cascade. Valproic acid, valproate semisodium, and sodium valproate available in extended release form. This drug can be very irritating to the stomach, especially when taken as valproic acid. Liver function and CBC should be monitored, lamotrigine particularly effective for bipolar depression. Usual dose is 100-200 mg daily which can be built up by 25 mg every two weeks. The patient should be monitored for signs and symptoms of Stevens-Johnson syndrome, a very rare but potentially fatal skin condition. Carbamazepine CBC should be monitored, as carbamazepine can lower white blood cell count. Therapeutic drug monitoring is required. Carbamazepine was approved by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration as a bipolar disorder treatment in 2005, but had been widely used previously.